What's going on, gang? It's your favorite boy, The Ugly, and we're back with another episode of videos of the day. So, um, we'll jump right into it. First video I have for you guys. Hmm. This video, this particular video, we all have that one friend. We like food, no matter. The, they know they, they know they old past food. Like they know go marry, they know sabi cook, but they like food. So you know, um, the video is about a person, you know, that goes to a friend's house to beg for food, and he was told to dance. You know, let's jump right into the video. Uh, can I help you? Hey, guy, I'm fine. How you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, though. Man, I came to see the family. You know, how's everything going? Well, the family is fine. It's been a while. Well, I'm, I'm seriously come and visit you guys and make sure everybody's okay. Um, everybody's okay. I'm not at home, my brother. I'm not at home. I'm not. Uh, your car, your car is outside here. Now. I see your car is there. Now. I use my wife's car. <laughs> uh, but when I was coming up, I didn't that that you uh, that's you on the, the window, man. I see you, man. My brother, what do you want, my brother? We did not cook. Yeah, Guy, at least you not cook. My niece, my niece. Uh, uh, say, go, I'm, uh, go and find your own wife to cook for you. Hey, Lord, throat. Hey. Oh, you brought plates. With your gory magpa head. I actually cooked the goosey. Dance. Dance, let me see. If you want this, a... <laughs> want to go into the comments and see what people have to say. No, Smiraj. Laugh emoji. Dari said, guys are actually sweet people. Tell a woman to go and marry, she will take it personally, even as a joke. Yeah, I mean, you guys take it easy. I know the pressure is too much on you guys, but yeah. And Tech Overwatch said, if your guy abuse you like this and you know Vex, then two of you are real friends. Yeah, I mean, I take insults from NC a lot. NC is my guy, my D1G. So, um, would you know, go into the next video of the day. The next video of the day. I need to take a chill pill. I need to take a breather for this one because, like, while watching this particular video, I had like so many mixed emo emotions, you know. Ah, Kino Shelle. If it's me, I'll arrest two of you. Lock my mark everybody. So, um, the video is about this Uber driver and then this policeman that were dragging staring. I don't know if you guys saw the video, but I don't know how to react because, wait a it is. I mean, the. There was, there was a passenger at the back, the policeman was trying to tell the Uber man to stop driving while he was like, you know, trying to check his papers and all. And this man just stopped driving, you know, they continued driving and the woman was screaming at the back. You know, let's let's get into the video and you all tell me what you think. You have an accident, please stop. Leave me alone, leave me alone, please don't leave me alone, please don't leave me alone. Just leave him, please. Please just leave him, please just leave him. Please just leave him. Just leave him. Please leave me alone. Oh God, please. Please, now! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to crash, we're going to crash, we're going to crash. Huh? God. God, 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 God. God, oh God. Please help me, help me. No problem. Oh, guys, okay. Oh, guys, okay. You will die. You will die. You will die, please. If you guys are on video. They asked me to carry you. Go. Oh, guys, leave me. Leave me. You yes, carry me. Go. You carry me. They're going to run away. Please, me. Please, me, sir. I said, stop. Please, you carry me. You said, no. It's your life, sir. It's your life. You said, what can I do? It's your life, please. Your life. Please, your life, please, sir. Okay, your life, your life. Your life, please. Don't cross. Don't cross the road. Don't cross the road. Please, me. Yeah. I said, please, oh, God. Don't cross the road. He's carrying me away. It's gonna be a It's gonna be a way. Please, 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 why why you won't kill us? Like why why I mean I felt like the policeman should have like held on. I don't know, he just he was just in his feelings. And the driver, please play, press brake now. Park the car. 
don't kill everybody. If it's me, I arrest everybody. I arrest the driver and then the police. But let, let's see what the people in the like the commenters. Let's see what they have to say. Um, Ever Blazing said, "Oh, if not me, this kind no, this kind no call I go give up. Then I am. I don't know what this is." Said, but why is this lady shouting? And as scared as she is, she's able to video. I mean, yes, this woman has mystery and mastery <laughs> in video making because she was that scared and her video was not shaky. So that was that's a good one. She should venture into cinematography. My advice to you. Um, let's see what Onocha has to say. Everyone is trying to blame the policeman. What about the irresponsible irresponsibility from the side of the driver? You heard what the policeman said. Well, I think the driver was irresponsible too because I mean. I don't know what's ever conspired between you two, but under no circumstance should you drive while you were not seeing where you were going. The people in the car's life were at stake. Somebody crossing the road, you could have hit the person. You know, you anything could have happened. So please, I don't support that. Thank you. So moving on to our next wonderful video. I frowned at this video because I mean, your opinion is not my opinion and I care about your opinion. So please let me know your opinion in the comment section. But this particular video made me frown because it's, it happened in Congolese and there was this worker and the, like, it was a boss and a um, worker situation where the boss had to like, wanted to give the worker food and the worker had to remove his helmet to get the food. I mean, you could have just given this worker the plate to eat and then wash it. I mean, that's how we do here in Nigeria where I'm from. So, I don't know. You, you guys watch the video and let me know what you think. So welcome back from that video. Me personally, I would frown at that video. My opinion was like from where I'm from, I mean Nigerian, you know, if a guy won't give you food, they go give you the food with the plate. So you go wash the plate after you chop the food. So I'm frowning at this because this person is a like a worker and giving this person food on his helmet. He has worn that helmet for only God knows how long with germs and death and everything. So putting food in that helmet wasn't given at all. So I don't know. It's something I'll frown at because I it it shows like so much superiority and no like bond between boss and you know servants. But that's my opinion. Let us know what your opinion is on the comment section while I dive into the comments and see what other people have to say. Eternal Light said, and I quote and I read, nothing will change until black people start respecting themselves enough to stand up for themselves. There is no hero coming to save us on the wind or any divinity watching over the waiting to punish anyone karmatically. This, this, this comment is not for weaklings. <laughs> if you know say I had no career, I'm leave out. So I'll, I'll move to the next one. So Reno Kong Kong said, God is going to do a hard thing on the biggest oppressors when he returns and show the world why Nubians should have never been taught to be treated this way. I mean, when will they wait may God come before we go react to situations like this? I mean, I get you, but then, Waiting till God comes is not enough. It's something we need to frown out. Right now, right now. The official man for Falkion said, and they are filming it just to show the world no one care. Me, I care. I really do care because, I mean, are we really free in this country? Are we really liberated? Do we have independence? Because this shows, this is very demeaning to black folks. Like, it's something we need to come out and frown out because, I mean, them, them filming it, what, what was the purpose of it being filmed? and then put out there for public eye to consume. It was, I mean, how many other people are being treated this badly? You get me? And you know, judging from where I am sitting, they, this guy was very hungry to the point where he had to give the boss sign and give me water and the boss still said no. So, I mean, how many other people are going through these hard times? 
we are not free people. If we need to frown out this, this things like this should not be coming out for our consumption. That's that's what I think though. I'm frowning out this full time. So let's move, let's get right into it. Let's, you know, let's read one more comment and we'll move to the next video. We need to have the same energy for Palestinians. So did Richard said, exactly what I'm saying. You know, this Kogolis is an African country. We need to stand up for ourselves. We need to stand up for our rights. And that's that for that. I'm 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 angry already. I'm very angry right now. I see you already. So moving to the next video. Miracle. No, they tired Jesus. So who knows that song? With this particular video, it shows how we Africans are really blessed with you know powers to perform miracles and all. So I want to make reference to this particular video that happened in Uganda of a pastor that was able to elevate, excavate, remove a dead animal from one of his members' body. I know how you how you do um, I I mean I need I need power as well. I need Kadibu Sheka. How do you call that level how do call? Because I mean let's 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 watch this particular video and y'all tell me what you think. So, with that being said, or that being seen, I mean, we, have, we need to interrogate this particular video, like we need to see the juice of this particular video. I mean, where is the bush in this woman? Where did the animal come from? We need an explanation for this particular video. Are there more animals? Should we be expecting? Does this woman grow animals on her boobs? Please let us know. And I mean, let's know what you think. And while we do that, I would like to jump into our comment section to see what they think. So, official Victor said, if you don't believe this, gather here. I don't know where we gather, but anyway, we food today. I did. Um, do dotun dotun god please when are you coming <laughs> he risks to ask because now we don't need to enter bush to the catch animal again just find a uganda woman check out your eyes are breast come on animal bush meat is already for you so um i am scott back said nah i think the, i will be i'll be i'll become a muslim this is too much i mean i beg now i beg no transition i beg but i mean do what pleases you though um just connect we have many fake pastors in Nigeria, but you see, you got no pastors. <laughs> no, I know they for this troll. Though. I know they for this troll. Their own is hell still under. Their own hell is still under construction. Now you they build them. Did they give you the job? Are you take no? Are you a Ugandan? Official Sarah Martin said, Pastor Yo and his congregation can perform this low budget miracle. What? <laughs> this is a diss to Pastor Yo. I know. I know Deiru. I know Deiru. But I mean this. This is very good for Ugandans, very good for you guys. I would advise you not to waste your time to go hunting and all that. Just find a Ugandan woman. Just one. Maria, you have bush meat. No need for buy. Meat don't cost so just put your hand for between our boobies. Bring out one bush meat. One every day. Trust me, your AK and your this thing you go, you know. So at this point, I want to bring this particular episode to a close. You know, it's it's been fun. You know reacting to these videos with you guys uh i loved it i hope you did if you did please leave us a like comment and subscribe 
we here same time next time goodbye peace out love ya